So I get asked a lot about my journey, where I've come from, and, and how I've got to uh, where we are today with Nepos. And I thought it'd be really good uh, to do a quick video and, and just tell you guys how, how, I've, how I've gone on this journey. Uh, and the best place to start for me is when I was kind of 16, 17, still at school, wasn't really into school. I just did not enjoy the, um, you know, the, the, the kind of learning and, and ultimately being told what to do. Uh, a lot of people tell you I'm still like that now. And I think at the time I felt that that was kind of just being a rebellious teenager. Um, but now I think there is definitely an element of my entrepreneurial mindset coming out and my, you know, being wanting to do things differently and wanting to change things for the better. So, uh, you know, was at school, didn't finish my A-levels and therefore naturally I, um, I didn't go to university. And at 20 years old-ish, I was still sitting on the sofa and my biggest interest was playing on the PlayStation. And, you know, lots of successful entrepreneurs talk about always having that entrepreneur mentality inside them, always being an entrepreneur, always caring about business, always loving business. That wasn't me. As a, as a 20 year old kid, I didn't have that. I didn't have that drive to be successful. I had no plan apart from the next PlayStation game that I was going to play and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I think that's a really important point to note is that you don't always have to start out with that entrepreneurial passion and journey from, from day one as long as you kind of develop it. So, I left school, as I said, uh, moved onto my sofa. And as most parents did, my, my dad was saying, you know, you need to get out, you need to get a job. So his sister worked at a local manufacturing business and uh, they, they took me on as, a, as an office administrator and my main responsibilities were making tea, um, sorting the admin, but also posting of purchase invoices. And that was my first kind of, where I first touched on, uh, on, on, on the accounting world and, and what that meant. So um, that was my first bit of experience. And, and as I was reading a newspaper uh, in the office on my lunch break, the financial controller happened to be looking over my shoulder and there was an AAT article in the, in the left hand corner and he said to me you know is that something you're interested in and because I had no qualifications whatsoever I was kind of like yeah um, let, let's try it and let's see what happens so that's where it really started um, I went to AAT uh, I qualified through that moved around a little bit through a couple of redundancies and, and natural job progression and moved on to doing ACCA, which I self-funded a lot of, um, given I didn't get the support through study and what I, what I would have liked. And I worked my way up in a manufacturing business where I was effective FD uh, before I left there uh, back in 2013. So 2013 came, wasn't sure what was going on. I had this real challenge in my mind of, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. I'm loving the accountancy world. I've really built a bit of a business mind now, working on my own accounts and understanding data and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I've done all these courses, but this, I, was, I hustled hard, I worked hard, and I've always had a hustle hard mentality um, in my business life. And I think that then drove me to say, there's got to be more to this, there's got to be something else I can do. So that's when um, the idea of, of creating the business came from. And, um, December 2013, January 2014, I left my job and set up uh, what was then DS Accountancy and is, is now Nephos. And the, I guess the, the challenge I had when I set up Nephos or, or DS Accountancy at the time was I felt like I was going to uh, become a virtual FD, go to a few businesses, do a day a week here and there type thing. But actually that, that didn't fulfill the entrepreneurial spirit, that didn't fulfill the entrepreneurial mindset didn't help me scale a business because it was all on my time. And it just really gave me this difficult challenge between growing or scaling a practice and actually offering the business advisory services that, that I loved doing. Um, so eventually we did both. Um, we scaled a traditional practice and our, one of our core main offerings is our, is our business advisory offering. So um, yeah, in the end, in the end both. And I think, you know, this for me is just to, you know, to kind of sum up, you know, where I've gone, you know, started the business six and a half years ago with zero clients and effectively zero money in the bank, but a lot of passion, a lot of drive and a lot of will to succeed and a lot of uh, entrepreneurial spirit. And uh, we sit here today with nine staff, uh, just over 200 clients and, and what I think is a really, really great business and I'm really proud to be a part of. So um, yeah, I hope that was interesting guys. I hope it helped inspire people. Uh, my tagline for this is from sober to success. Um, and yeah, Hit me up on the comments if you've got any questions. Thank you.